it's nice to be in this mood after two ball games against a very good club. Today just happened to go our way. We had some obviously very good at bats who would have ever dreamed we hit seven home runs. If I'm not mistaken, was it six or seven? Seven. Seven. We uh, we got good pitching out of our uh, starter Pollock until he ran into a little trouble and he just needs to be put out there as many times as possible to learn when to throw a certain pitch to a certain spot. That comes with experience. But I thought Austin Pollock pitched very well. Clayton came in and kind of cooled everything off. He just did a, an outstanding job. Kobe pitched well in spurts. It was good to see him get a chance to hit. Uh, Meat has been working with him and he's had a lot of positive things to say about the progress he's making and when he hit the ball out, it was not a surprise. It was just, uh, it, it's something we've seen a number of times. It, it was not a, oh my goodness moment. It was, holy smoke, that guy can hit. So we're gonna continue to take a look at him and see what transpires. From your experience, when, uh, when, when it comes kind of uncharacteristically struggling at the plate, does it often end, maybe not to that extreme, but with a kind of game like this where just everything's clicking? A lot of things happened and all of a sudden the guys started so-called feeling it. There were some very good at-bats from J. Luke, <coughs> Cal, Mendo, Rhett. Rhett walked, if I'm not mistaken, a, a couple of times. Uh, excuse me three times after walking three times last night, if I'm not mistaken. Saturday. 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 Yeah. And, and that goes so far to helping us because he didn't chase stuff out of the zone trying to do too much. He let the game come to him. Those are so encouraging that I think it filtered down to some of the other guys, Born and Gal, um, I think uh, Stephen Wells had a career day. Gosh, four for four, two buck base hits, home run and a double. That's, that's extremely impressive. He understands the game. He knows he's got to be ready to go Friday when we play in Boston. Coach, especially coming off the previous two series, uh, how much confidence, especially, I mean, 20 hits tonight, how much confidence can a night like tonight give this team down the stretch? I think that the guys understand that it's still all about quality at-bats and they can't go up there and chase stuff out of the zone. And uh, Our motto is basically, don't get yourself out, make the pitcher get you out. And that's what we did the last two days. Very pleased with our approach. And certainly, as, as I said, who would have ever expected 20 hits and seven home runs. Following, go. following up on last night, uh, do you have any idea about the weekend rotation and what's going to happen with Cole, uh, Cole Sands out? Thank you for asking that now because it's time to, to say exactly what we're going to try to do. Uh, parish on Friday. Um, we'll go Van Eyck Saturday. Obviously, he will not be able to go all the way because of his pitch count. And then on Sunday, we'll go with Carp. Two guys in uh, Cal and Drew who who've been kind of at the forefront of those struggles somewhat of late. For them to break out, not just have games, but have, I mean, Cal Homer twice, Drew had five hits. How much can that do for them? Drew hit five? It's five for six. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I got five in a week one time. <laughs> <laughs> That's something that they, they spend a lot of time together. 
our team is, if it sounds corny, it, it, it's okay. But our team is close knit. They, they spend a lot of time together and they work hard at their craft. To see them both have big games like this shows me that their leadership is shining because that's what it takes to be successful is hard work. And they've done a very good job of that. And I think it was kind of like one got one today, the next guy's going to have a good at bat. And it was a big pick us up to see those two guys have those at, uh, at bats. Coach, just as far as the midweek series go, I mean, you had the pitching steal to show yesterday, obviously hitting steal to show today. I mean, what does, and you kind of talked about it already, but what does that do kind of heading into a weekend series? When you guys did struggle, I mean, you had the five straight losses up until, up until yesterday. What does that do just kind of confidence-wise? We needed something like this, having played, you know, a very good Florida team and then a very good Duke team. And we, we were looking for something to pick us up. And we've got a few guys now that are seeing the ball better. They're feeling better about themselves. And that can have a way of just spreading throughout the club. Thought that uh, a lot of good things happened as a result of leadership of guys that have so-called been there. Let's just hope that we can continue because we know with what we have left is as challenging as is at any time that I've been at Florida State when you're talking about, you know, played in BC, Miami, Clemson, NC State. That's that's uh, that's challenging. Coach, I know it's not until Saturday, but just your overall thoughts and the team's thoughts on, on getting to play Boston College at Fenway Park. They're doing they did everything they could possibly do to not bring it up and not talk about it. But I can tell you right now, all they're wanting to do is get in Fenway and experience something that every young player desires. And I'm excited for them. I'm proud that I am a part of Florida State baseball and we were asked to participate in this game. It's, it's a credit to this university and we're looking forward to competing. Boston College, their record may not be impressive, but I know Mike Gambino, and I know how hard they work up there. We've got our work cut out. There are no easy teams in this league. We got our work cut out for us, but we're certainly looking forward to the trip. Good news, 50 degrees the first two days, 55 the next day. We're happy. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else for Coach? Okay. We'll get a couple players in.